Hello, my crafty friends. Um, when I was talking about um, teaching Meridale Abrams from the Marriott to A how to spin, um, she had this this roving. I call this pencil roving because of the size of it um, that she had that she wanted to learn how to spin. And so she traded me a ball of this for a spindle. And when I was talking about it, I had a couple of other people ask me um, what I would charge to make them a spindle. And um, I was thinking about that later. I didn't really answer the question at the time because I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> but I was thinking about it later and I remembered these kits that I had made about two years ago to teach a spinning a spindle spinning class. And um, it went in a little town about 45 minutes away from here. It was all set up by a, a lady and she had the place and everything. And um, I was gonna come and teach the class and I wasn't gonna charge anything for the class, but um, but I was gonna charge a $20 supply, um, supply charge because I was giving everybody this kit. And um, there were supposed to be 10 people come into the class and three days before it was time for the class. I made up all these kits. And um, the next day I got a call from her saying that there had been a tragedy um, in her family and she couldn't, we were gonna cancel the class, but she would call me in the summer and we would schedule it again. Well, that was two years ago and she's never called. <laughs> and I've had these 10 kits um, sitting in my studio, taking up space. Um, for two years. And I thought if any of you were interested in learning how to spin and learning about different kinds of fibers and things that you can spin, um, one of the things about this class was that I was going to talk about fibers and different things that you can spin. And so I had some really small samples of things like silk and camel and yak. And some, this is some alpaca. Um, and then here are some things that you could, you know, add in to make bats and um, and some, you know, just some small dyed um, wool pieces. This this kind of wool is sold sometimes to do felting with, but it spins perfectly fine. And then I added in, this is some alpaca that I dyed. Um, I dyed the roving and then I split it in, so it would be real small and real easy to learn how to spin with. So there's some of that in there. And then there's some of this roving, which is in a smaller, uh, it's top actually, but it's in a smaller um, amount, you know, so it'd be easier to draft from. And there's some white just like it. And this is um, really the way, a lot, one of the ways I buy top is like this. It comes, you buy it by the pound. And so this is a really long bunch of this stuff. And you can see how fat that is. And so um, you can split it or you can draft it out. And we'll talk about those things in the class. Um, and there's the spindle. And this is superwash wool, which doesn't felt or shrink. And I dyed this too. And I just took some of it and put it in here. And it's, it's easy to spin. It's very fluffy. Um, normally, it's not as fluffy at the moment because it's all been packed in these bags. But this is a wool and silk blend that just feels heavenly. And then these are all, these three are some dyed, um, well, I dyed this and it's felted a little bit. So it's one of those that you're going to have to kind of work with a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that because I've had to do that a lot. <laughs> and these are both some that I bought and they're felted a little bit like this one is. And a lot of times when you buy from independent dyers, they're like that. Um, this is another piece that, um, that I dyed. And then this is some, um, just, I had a little, just a ball of this that that I ordered and it's a wool, I think it's wool and alpaca mix. So I have, you know, all of this stuff. And then this is just from a fleece. I bought a fleece and I washed the fleece. And then um, just, these are just locks. All that's happened is I've washed them. You can still see the locks. And part of the class was to show them how to um, to prepare this stuff. And one way that you can prepare this stuff is um, with dog brushes. 
And these cost you uh, $5 a piece or $10 at Walmart. I just went and bought them today so I could show you. Um, and I wanted to be sure how much they cost because I got mine at um, PetSmart and they were $7 and something. But they have this retractable thing because I couldn't find some like this at the time. Um, I like these really well. These are a good size. And for $10, you've got um, brushes that you can comb wool with. I have this set. So if somebody buys a kit and they want these, if they'll tell me, I'll just charge you what I paid for them and stick them in. Uh, probably shipping will cost a little bit more because I'll have to use a little bit bigger box and it'll be heavier. But um, if you don't have access to something like this and you want some, this is a great way to fix your fibers and um, fix them in a form that's small enough you can hold it in your hand and spin from it instead of trying to spin from something like this. Plus, you can mix stuff up, which is a lot of fun. Um, one other thing I'm going to show you how to do if you decide you want to do this is how to mix and match these in um, what I call, um, <laughs> I call it um, crazy quilt yarn. Um, you could call it bits and bobs yarn. You could call it scrap yarn. You could call it whatever you want. But um, where you take the things that you've got that you want to be in the yarn and you divide it in half. And then you just spin a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then you ply the two together. And, um, and you've got a cool yarn that nobody else will ever make and you could never make again. So um, that was one of the things that, um, that I'll teach if you decide you want to uh, buy a kit. and and come to the class. I'm probably I'm thinking about doing it in a hangout, so you can have up to ten people in a hangout who are um, actually in the video, and so we can do that. So you can show me, and I can answer questions, and I can show you again, and that kind of thing. Um, and as many people as want to can watch, but only ten people can be inside the hangout at one time. But I've got ten kits, and I. I doubt that there will be 10 people who really want to buy a kit and do this, but um, that actually have video access that could actually, you know, be on, on camera. Um, if there are, then, um, then we'll just trade in and out or something in the middle of it. Or, But um, getting everybody to come at one time might not be easy anyway, but it'll be filmed, uh, video, recorded, and out there for people to see afterwards. But um, I just wanted to show you what I've got. This is already made up into a kit. And I was going to charge $20 materials fee or supply fee for the class. And um, so that's what I'm going to charge for this kit. And then, of course, shipping and handling. Um, well, not handling, just shipping. <laughs> I bought, um, let me show you. I bought this box and all of this without the brushes. If you don't have these, all of this stuff will fit in this box. And I don't know yet. I haven't figured out what the shipping will be. But they should all ship for about the same if you're in the States. Um, and I've bought some of these boxes so I can pack it up and send it out to you. Um, so if you're interested, um, I will. I meant to go ahead and pack it all up and take it to the post office and check it out and see what it would cost to send it but I think it you know none of this stuff is really heavy the dog brushes are probably heavier than anything else so if you're um, if you can go to Walmart and buy your own dog brushes that'll save money on shipping um, but anyway if if 10 people don't buy these kits and um, somebody wants one of the extra spindles, then I'll just sell a spindle and I'll sell the spindle for, um, I don't know, $5 and then um, whatever shipping costs to get it to you. Shipping something like this is not real easy. Um, if you just ship a spindle, it's hard, you can't find a box that just fits it. You have to use one of those poster tubes like I sent it to Mary in. And um, those cost about $6 a piece, but you can send two spindles you know, you can use you can use the same tube for two different spindles. So I have enough to send one like that already. But um, anyway, 
And that cost, when I sent it to Mary, it cost $5 to ship that. So you can keep that in mind. Um, it's cheaper to make your own, but if you don't want to make your own and you don't want to buy the stuff, then, you know, that is an option. But I would prefer to sell the whole kit if I can, because I've already got them made up and I've got um, some spinning information that I printed off. Um, some of it's the history of spinning because this, you know, was a, a spinning class. It wasn't just a how to spin on a drop spindle class. It was about history and everything. Um, and I'm going to send one of these in with it. This is all stuff that you could go to Interweave Press. In, I think it's Interweave. Um, anyway, you can go to their website and this all this stuff, you know, oh yeah, it says it's compiled by the editor of Spinoff Magazine. So you can, um, you can go there and get it if you want to learn. But I, I printed these off because I knew since you could print them off the internet for yourself, I could print them off for you. So there's ten, there's one of these in each kit as well. Um, I'm also going to add some of this in because I think this will be a, a fun color to add in. I don't really have any, you know, there's some of this color, so it would go good with some things. Plus, um, what I, I'm probably going to use it to teach the class and to mix in with other things myself. So I don't need a specific amount of it. So I'll probably, um, you know, just pull off. Let's see how much this is. I need to have a specific amount if I'm going to do it. Um, I'll probably pull off like four. Let me see if I can do that. four yards like this and stick it in um, with it. So I'm going to put that with the other one so I can add it in. But, um, and that way you can all be spinning on something, something like what Mary has. I'm also going to, I have them somewhere. Some of those poonies that I sent her, I'll stick one of those in too, because I'm going to show how to spin both of those things. And I don't have anything like the poonies here. So um, I'll stick one of those in as well. And um, if you're interested in doing this, you can, um, if you're in my Facebook group, you can post in the Facebook group that you want a kit. Or um, if you look below this video, there's an email address, talk to me at dlc96.com. You can email me and tell me you want a kit. And um, the first 10 people that, say they want a kit um we'll have them i'm i'm not sure like i said about the shipping i'll get back to you on the shipping and um i meant to do that before i did this but i wanted to go ahead and get it out there because i'd like to do that class as soon as possible and so um so i wanted to give you the idea to th you know to be thinking about if you want to be part of that if you have any questions, you can email me at talk to me at dlc96.com or you can message me on Facebook or ask in the group. Um, anyway, that's, that, that's what I said. If you don't, if you want me to and you don't have access to go buy these and you want me to go get you some, I'll be glad to do that. I go to Walmart at least once a week. <laughs> so I can pick them up and they were um, like $4.98, I think, each. And then I've got this one set already, but I'm going to show, I will also show you how to do this so that you can mix them in, and that's an easy preparation to spin from as well. So you keep that in mind too. You can run to Walmart and get your own, or I can send them in, but that will make the shipping more. Um, and then it's, it would be $30 instead of $20 because of what those cost. But anyway, um, let me know if you're interested and I would love to love to i'd love to sell all 10 of these kits and get my money back <laughs> i don't want to make money on them i just want to get the money back that i've already spent putting them together and then um i didn't get <laughs> didn't get to do the class so um think about it let me know god bless you bye bye sorry i just thought when i um when i find out what the postage is i will post it in the description box below this video so that will be added in later, but I will do that. So you can go back and look at it later and see what it is. 
And I'll also post what the postage costs in my Facebook group. For those of you that are in the Facebook group, that'd be the easiest way to find out about that. Okay, I'm really through this time.